Hey guys, what's up? It's Tara. Welcome to my channel. This month I'm doing my own version of March Madness, but it's more festival and rave related. Basically March is the first month that's really the kickoff for festival season, so I'm filming a ton of videos that are all festival and rave related that you guys have always wanted me to film and that I've always wanted to make. Pretty much in my life all the time, I'm a pretty fit and active person. I really like going to the gym and working out, but when it comes to festival season, I always do three weeks before, I always do like a three week festival shred. And the reason that I do this is honestly just because I'm wearing really small outfits and like, you know, you want to feel and look your best when you go because you spend all this time preparing and you spend all this money on the festival. When you get there, you kind of just want to like show up and show out and be living your best life and be like, wow, I looked great and I look like I'm having so much fun. So basically, I always do this three week festival shred and I wanted to share some of my tips with you guys if you're preparing for a holiday or a festival or something like that. I am in the middle of filming like a six week body transformation video, but right now I'm at my like third week and then I have three more weeks to go. So I thought I would kind of show you my in-between process. So I have before and after pictures and I fucking hate to share these, but like they're really effective to show you guys that what I'm doing actually works. So I have a before and after of my week one to week three. So my Okay, so my week one, I'm not gonna lie, the day before I filmed this, I ate like so much pizza and I low-key am like allergic to gluten, so I was super bloated, um, so yeah. Um, this is my before photo and then this is my week three photo and as you can see, the bloating has gone down significantly because I cut out like pretty much a lot of dairy, gluten, and refined sugars and I was exercising a lot with eating healthily. So the first photo is just exercising but eating trash food basically and then the third one is no dairy no gluten no refined sugar and then like lots of exercise so obviously I still have three weeks to go so I'll have a six week um, transformation video coming in three more weeks that you guys can watch but just so you guys can see how I started this transformation we're gonna go over like workout food and all of those kinds of things so I hope you enjoy Okay, so one thing that I want to talk about is that in the beginning, you really do just have to buckle down and you have to change your eating habits and then you have to exercise and you have to do both of those because if you're doing one or the other, you're not going to really see results. So the first three days, I would say, is the hardest to change your diet. Like you have to break all of those bad habits. So what I always do is like once I break through those first three days of eating really clean, I'm like, okay, I have this. The second thing that's really hard is the first first three weeks of exercise and eating clean is probably the hardest because you don't really see any any change until the third week. So when you change your diet, say you were eating like really badly, you're eating a lot of fried food, a lot of sugar, your body doesn't start burning any of your fat until three days of eating healthy and exercising and burning fat. So like your body has stored all of it, it takes three days for your body just to even start burning it. So the beginning of this process is a little bit slow, but don't get discouraged. Once you break through week three, it's going to be so fast and you're gonna see such results, it's actually crazy. Okay guys, I just have been out taking photos and stuff and I just, I always change into this robe when I get home because it's really comfy, but I wanted to show you guys my favorite like healthy lunch that I've been making lately that I'm so obsessed with and there's so many good things in it that I think you guys are really going to like it. Um, I'm not going to lie, you guys are probably going to think that the ingredients are really weird, but I think that I've made something that's pretty delicious, so I want to show you guys how to make it. It's kind of like a rice cake tuna salad type thing. If you don't like tuna, you can use chicken or turkey or whatever your preference of protein is. The reason that I use canned tuna is because it is super low in fat and is like the highest protein that you can get in any type of meat. At least that's what I read. So a serving size of tuna is half of the can. I already have some from the other day. So I'm just gonna use the rest of that in here. So it looks like this in the bowl. And then also you're gonna to wanna to put half an avocado in it because I don't even know what a serving size of avocado is. That looks so nice. And I like to cut it into cubes. And whenever I'm just eating clean, I try to follow that serving size, you know? 
And then everything else I kind of guesstimate, so I like cucumber. It just is really refreshing and it tastes so good in salad. So I take the skin off like this, because I don't like the skin. And then I just basically cut into little tiny cubes because it's just gonna be little munchies in your salad. When I tell you that I eat this every day, I eat it every day, probably because I'm I'm a very routine eater type person. Like I love routine eating. I do different things every day, but even if you do something different every day, at least you know like you work out the same time every day or you eat the same thing every day at the same time. I don't know, I just like routine, but I know some people probably think that's weird. And obviously you guys, if you don't like one of everything that I'm putting into the salad just switch it out for something that you do like eating healthy doesn't have to suck like if you don't like some healthy foods don't eat them like you can have fun with what you're eating and it's still healthy here's when it gets weird I really like mustard on in it so I go like drizzle some mustard on it a crack of salt like two crab cracks of pepper mash it up all together so then your entire bowl is mixed up and it pretty much looks like mashed up baby food. And then I take two rice cakes, okay? I only eat two. You can eat more if you want, but I just eat two at a time. And what you do is you take your rice cake. You take your rice cake, okay? I love when it's nice and flat on the surface and you just load it up, like slap that on, okay? I just eat two rice cakes and then I eat the rest of the salad just by itself. And I think it tastes really yummy and flavorful by itself as well. And then these are healthy little rice cakes that I love to eat. And it's like a tuna salad type thing on a rice cake. It's super low carb, but really high protein, high fat. And honestly, it just tastes so good. And I would say it's definitely an amazing healthy meal. Honestly, rice cakes with a lot of things as a bread substitute is the way to go. So yeah, I just wanted to share this meal with you guys and I'm gonna keep eating. I'm not a good mukbanger, I don't think so, no. I wanted to share with you guys some of the supplements that I take that I feel like really make a huge difference in my overall health and how I feel. I like to take a gut probiotic. So gut health is really important for like your overall health and obviously your digestive system and how you process foods and things like that. And it kind of just relines your stomach with like healthy, um, like little live things that like digest, help digest the food. I'm not really sure the science behind it, but I've read it before and it makes sense. This is what the probiotic looks like. It's from ATP Science. It's an Australian brand and I've gone, I've used three tubs of this. Like I have, I am in love with this product, but you can do one scoop a day in the morning and like that's good enough for me as long as you combine it with a really clean diet. Like it's so good. Also, something else that I really love, that I really, really, really love is collagen. It's like one of the best beauty secrets for all women. It's so this is the collagen that I like to use. It's by Vital Proteins. I buy it from Target or like your local GNC, wherever you get like protein powder or something like that. It makes a huge difference in my skin. Like fabulous for skin, hair, and nails. Like absolutely fabulous. I do take magnesium pills at nighttime and this is because it really helps soothe your muscles and it makes you a little bit less sore the next day in the morning when you wake up so you can kind of keep on exercising and not fatigue. This is what the magnesium pills look like. As you can see, I just got these from my local GNC. Um, they just really help with like my muscle pain and growth and things like that. There's a lot of calcium in them. And the pills are really big. You have to take two of them, but like they're kind of really large. So just so you know, they're pretty big. But I do take two at night. Good morning, everybody. Okay, so it's been a couple of days since the last clip that I filmed and showed you guys like the intro, what I was eating, what this video was about because I just died, passed over to the afterlife, and then came back to life of strep throat. Like, I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm still actually sick, but I got penicillin, so I feel a million times better. And I'm gonna go to the gym. And we're about nine days out from Ultra, so this is kind of when you hit 
shit hard and I'm just gonna say like hit workouts are your best friend right now hit 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 but since I am recovering from like my illness I'm gonna just like do a gentle workout today um, because I don't want to go too hard and like make myself more like sick again accidentally but hit is the best way to blast fat tone up and really quickly so I'm nine days out so I'll probably be doing hit type of workouts combined with weights for the next nine days okay guys hey I'm back I actually just went to the gym and then I came home and I decided to get ready do my hair and makeup because after being sick for a week like I just really wanted to feel cute again so that's what I decided to do anyway so I'm drinking this green juice right now I know this video was a little bit all over the place and I'm so sorry for that because strep just really fucking threw me a hard corner what is it I just feel like three weeks is a really good amount of time to actually like cut down be super hard and disciplined and eat clean exercise and you'll see somewhat of a difference in three weeks like you're not gonna see a major transformation but you will definitely see more toned up and some fat loss in three weeks if you're eating clean exercising eating low low sugar and low carb high fat high protein and like I said the three week festival shred isn't all about like looking super skinny and fit like in your outfits it's also about building that stamina and making sure that you can take care of yourself while you're at the festival because they are so draining like physically and mentally um, you do go through a lot so make sure you're eating your greens getting in your protein wherever you do get that source from whether you're vegan vegetarian whatever so yeah get your body right and tight girls I might even try and film this video again I feel like I could have done it a lot better but I think you guys get the gist it's just eat clean work out and take care of yourself get enough sleep so thank you guys so much for watching go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can you know be a part of the fam watch my videos and also follow me on Instagram I'll put it over here follow me on Instagram my at is Tara Zero Neal I will be in Miami with crazy Ray Ray or my friend Saray as you know in nine days and I'm so excited and it's gonna be a really good time so make sure you stay tuned for those I love you guys Bye.